Hi, I'm Claire and this is Elton and we are UK Barn Finds. A pair of 70s kids who just can't let go. Our life is surrounded by cars, bikes and general paraphernalia from the past. After a week of breakdowns and birthdays, we continued our car fix with a two-day trip to Anglia car auctions. Well, I say we, but I meant I sent Elton off while I followed the auction in full via the YouTube live stream. Would I live to regret this decision? Continue watching and you'll see for yourself. Before we reveal the car purchases, this is how the weekend started. On the first day, things kick off at 10am with the automobilia. This part of the sale isn't live streamed, so I eagerly await texts and calls to keep me posted. There's a mixed bag on offer and we tend to buy very random stuff. As Forrest Gump almost said, life's like an automobilia sale. You never know what you're going to get. Here's what our particular selection box looked like. A Shell Helix motor oils display stand. This apparently will be well handy in the workshop. Military Land Rover rear bumpers and two NATO hitches. I quote, because they were cheap. Seriously, we have a shelf full of NATO hitches. Why do men do this? A quantity of auto sport magazines and car handbooks. Not gonna lie, I enjoy flicking through these, so this one gets my full approval. Five vintage oil and fuel cans. What the hell? Castrol Forecourt Oil Dispenser. Okay, well, it's a cute looking thing and I'm a big fan of Castrol. Stop Go Workman sign. I give up. And finally for day one, a quantity of old Ford stickers and manuals. I think this was actually a good buy. I haven't had a good look through them all yet, but there are a lot of items in this for the money. To be honest, I quite like most of the bits Elton bought home and it was a relatively cheap day out considering his parting words that morning to me were we're not going to buy any cars this weekend, we've got too many. So, on to the cars. So I'll let Elton take over from here as he filmed a quick roving reporter style snippet on each. Okay, between auctions I've just come outside to have a look at some of the cars that we've bought this weekend. I didn't actually come here with any intention to buy cars, but the, I did mention in a previous video this Cavalier that I was drawn to. I just couldn't resist it. It didn't go for a great deal of money and I just don't get why. i am just been speaking to a lovely couple I bumped into who were looking at it outside and the gentleman was a real Vauxhall enthusiast. Come down from Great Yarmouth to pick up some bits that they'd bought and he was having a look at it for me going over all the bits that might be a problem on some cars and said that this is an absolute gem and agreed that it was a steal at the price we paid we don't flip cars that's not what we're about this is for us to enjoy this is going to go on the road it's already mot'd so it's nothing to do really just tax it well, actually, it's historic, so I don't even need to tax it. Happy days. Put it on our insurance and enjoy it. One point six L. As I said, MOT'd. Solid as you like. The history behind it is it came from a film company who had wrapped it in black. It's going to appear on some. TV show, crime documentary or thriller, something along those lines. There are little marks in places I can see where they've taken the wrap off. Nothing to worry about. Uh, I think about the only bit we spotted was there was some condensation in this headlamp, which I'll try to show. But I want to get that and sort that. I don't want to replace it because that's actually an etched headlamp. They're both etched with the number plate. 
so possibly original so much originality to this car it's absolute gem we love it absolutely love it so there will be more about this car on our channel at some point we'll do a proper like walk round when i get home or when we get it home and um show you the ins and outs of it all but if you've ever had one of these it'd be lovely to know what you think of them heard so many good things just here chatting to people another gentleman came up to me and said that he was in the RAF and they used to use these he wouldn't be surprised if that's what this one was originally it's only showing something like I think I did point in there a minute ago was it 16,800 miles now I know it could have gone around the clock obviously but the signs are that could be genuine mileage anyway I'll go and show you the other cars now probably not quite as pretty as this one okay so we're UK barn finds and it would be remiss of us not to buy a UK barn find now this drove through the auction, this particular Morris Minor. It is in need of some work, shall we say, but apparently the brakes have been overhauled. It's got a BMC gold seal engine. It actually sounded nice going through. I think the uh, doors may have seen better days. I need one of these trafficator thingies. Never used those before. Don't know how they fit. Look forward to finding out. I'll show you inside. I'll see if I can see from the front. Um, gear stick's been relocated at some point. And if we can get down here. Can't really see it from here so well. Some lovely air conditioning in here. I.e. holes in the floor. Just my kind of car, this. Claire did say she wanted a Morris Minor. I'm not sure this was quite the sort she was after. There you go. If I zoom in there, you can see the uh, concrete underneath the car. But anyway, this is just, like I said, this is our kind of thing. What we'll do with it, I don't know. Wasn't a great deal of money. It may just be a farm hack, a little bit of a project. Personally, I don't want to change anything about the look of it because to me, that's how the car looks. There are lots of lovely restored Morris Miners out there. I don't need to add another one to that stockpile. We'll just uh, try and see if this one's safe enough. Use it as it is. Okay. I do a lot of things for, as the saying goes, shits and giggles. And this is definitely in the shits and giggles category. This is my last purchase. I didn't dare tell Claire about this until I felt brave enough. And to be honest, she absolutely loves it. Apparently I've got to drop her and the family off at the train station when they're off on their holes this summer in this uh, limo. Nothing classic nothing barn find about it at all it is just a ridiculous car and for some reason i don't know, i don't think we'll keep it that long i don't know but i've just always wanted to have some fun in a stupid ostentatious ridiculous unnecessary car and i think i've found it mot'd um there we are, look. Limousine by Coleman Milne. Yeah, MOT'd. Um, apparently it drives really nicely, low mileage. I think if I slam the door, even the door's shut, look. I don't know whether this was used for, you know, kind of, people rich person's taxi or whatever it was a funeral car honestly don't know doesn't really bother me it is what it is we're gonna have a laugh with this that's you'll see it on the channel at some point i'm sure like i say it's not a barn find 
it's not even a classic or a retro but i'm sure car people out some car people out there will get the idea of someone just having a laugh life's for living let's go for it oh my god what can i say We'd both seen the Cavalier on a previous visit. It's worth a lot more than we paid and a number of people came up to Elton during the auction to tell him just that. To me, it's stunning. We love the cars that often get overlooked because they're not sporty models and this one ticks so many boxes. The Moggy, hmm, I'm interested to see this one when it gets back. I hadn't viewed it at the preview. It was there, but not on my radar. I do love the idea of having a nice Morris Minor one day. Will this one make that desire grow or put me off them for life? What do you think? Bloody hell, a stretched Merc. He's such a boy sometimes. He wanted to buy the stretched Volvo in the last auction, so I shouldn't really be that surprised. It'll be a bit of fun, I suppose, though, and I'm all for that. Thankfully, day two was a bit cheaper for us. This cutaway A-series engine will come in very handy, not only because we have quite a few cars with A-series engines in that we want to feature on this channel, but also because I'd like to learn a little bit more about how these engines work for myself. It's a great thing to have to hand, even if we did pay a bit more than we'd hoped for it. The last purchase of the day was a large Castrol oil cabinet. We've wanted one for a little while, and the best time to buy something you want is when you see it. We've got to go back and pick it up, as the little van was, well, just a bit too little. Which of the things we bought do you think are interesting? We'll be featuring the cars individually when they arrive here, so please keep an eye out for that and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and like and share this video to help us out if you can. We'll also upload video of some of the other cars that got sold this weekend, but won't necessarily send out notifications to subscribers as we don't want to bombard you. If you are interested in watching them, please check back and sort the videos by the latest tab to view any you may have missed. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.